I think the most exciting part for me was the ability to go out, talk to customers, and then find out what problems they're trying to solve. There are customers that develop medical devices and they have to go into patients' houses or into places where they have their customers come in. And uh, something that works on a battery also offers the same capabilities as a lab scope uh, would really change how people would be able to test uh, their products. Um, everyone wanted a smaller scope and you know but and they wanted all the same features you know there was so we had to make sure they were there. When everyone saw that we were going to do such a small form factor it kind of looks like a tablet we were pretty shocked by wow we're really going to do that. So in the early phases of a program, I'll work with one of our software architects, in this case it was Shane Arnold, and one of our mechanical leads, Neil Clayton, on this project to, to come up with all the balancing pieces. How much space are we gonna have? Neil, Neil gives us that. And then Shane Arnold on the software side, seeing if we could really get our software platform to run in that system. So I think the investment that we made in modularity and the initial architecture paid off for the two series. And so that ability to modulate, you know, what components are present and what features are present easily is what uh, allowed us to, to kind of make it small enough to fit in the two series. We knew we had a winning formula with that software application, with how it interacts. And so just replicating that in this space, we knew customers would like interacting with that. The, the most exciting part of the project for us uh, as a software team in India was, uh, you know, when the display was brought up and, uh, you know, we were able to touch the screen and then we see that response, uh, such a wonderful response on the screen. I think my sharpest reaction was the first 3D model when I saw that. That was just like, oh wow, this is so small. I was, and I knew we were aiming for small and we had talked about the depth, you know, on paper, but that's very different than picking it up and holding it and, and seeing, okay, yeah, I can hold it in my hand. And yeah, it really does, does fit there, so. Early on, we knew with this form factor, the scope's gonna go all kinds of interesting places and there was an emphasis up front on the uh, structure and architecture that uh, provided a really reliable overall solution, um, no matter the environment it's used in. Portability is something that uh, the 2 Series really has going for it, and it has a lot of different applications for where it, it might be used. So someone can take the scope from a field environment and bring it into their lab, and it's um, very suited for both those environments. Uh, the most exciting part of the project for me personally was when we first took a working prototype out and showed it to the customers. Um, it was not what they were expecting uh, because it was a full featured scope uh, with no compromises on the feature set but in a thin and a small form factor. It's just amazing. Um, seeing the product, holding it, feeling it. Um, I, you know, I go backwards and forwards between my home office and the work office and I can just slip it in my backpack and if that works for me, I know it's working for the customers as well. This product really redefines what an oscilloscope can be. And so uh, this can be used in so many different new ways that nobody's thought of before. We have some young people in our group. They just love it. They think this one is like a, they like play on a phone, you know, holding a, just a bigger phone on, on the hand and play with it. The touch screen um, is my favorite because it's very responsive. Uh, I can move the waveforms around uh, without having to, to touch the knobs. I would want people to know that uh, we're uh, proud of the scope and uh, we're proud of the work that we put into it. Uh, I'm just really proud of what the team accomplished. Um, the way they were able to overcome challenges in this environment and come together and create such a fantastic product. Uh, I'm just excited to see where the scope will go and what kind of uh, challenges uh, will be solved. My name's Andy Ted. I'm the business manager for the Entry Portfolio. Uh, my name is Taylor Heen and I'm a mechanical engineer here at Tektronix.
Uh, I'm Neil Clayton. I'm a mechanical engineer. I got to lead the mechanical team uh, for this project. Uh, my name is Feng Liang. Uh, I'm a SQE uh, Tectronics. Uh, for this particular project, I'm the software quality lead. Uh, my name is Nicole Chandler, and I am a software design engineer at Tektronix. Uh, my name is Prashant. I'm a product planner and product marketing at Tektronix. My name is Scott Barkmeyer, and I'm a manufacturing engineer. Uh, my name is David Ediger, and I'm a mechanical engineer for Tektronix. I am Joshua O'Brien. I'm a system architect. I'm Srinivas Achanta. Uh, I'm a senior FPGA engineer at Tektronix.